coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Becky Pam, man, I appreciate the love. Bam, 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 boom, boom. Appreciate the support. Big love, big love, 33, man. 33 years of prison stories, man. Appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. We rolling, we rolling. We can't stop, won't stop, man. I appreciate everybody who rock with me, man. Everybody who really, really support this movement, man. I feel like we making a difference, man. Like we, uh, you know, we, we, we helping a few people, man. So uh, that's gratifying, man. That's love. That's love. So let's keep it rolling, man. Um. If you bought this program, man, you know, like, comment, subscribe, man. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, we on the road to 100K, man. We've been rumbling for almost two years, but we we, we doing our thing, man. So uh, let's get it. Let's get it. I got 100% faith in you, man. So uh, tell a friend to tell a friend, man. We out here. We trying to get it done. Salute. Uh, man, I'm going to do this video because uh, Hollywood Trail kept asking me about this video. You know, me and Hollywood Trey be having a lot of uh, conversations, man. And, you know, some things that, you know, like most people that ain't been locked up, they're intrigued with. So he was asking me about, you know, nicknames, you know, what they call people in prison, man, which, you know, and I started explaining it to him and he told me, you know, I should, you know, tell y'all, you know, so TBP, here we go, you know. Well, in prison, man, a name, what does a name mean in prison? What does a name mean in prison? Um, it's your attribute, man. It's what you call yourself. It's what you tell other people you, you know what to call you or what your name is. There's a lot of dudes in prison. They come in prison with whatever their name is and they change their name. They, they, you know, they say, look, my name is such and such. It's just like anywhere you go in life when you first meet people, you tell them you know, what your name is. This is what they got to call you because this is what you answer to. So... In prison, everybody can give yourself your own name. Unless people didn't know you from the street when you come in there and you say that's what your name is, that's the only thing that somebody know you by, so that's what they call you. But, but, if that's what they call you and you got some type of crazy name, um, excuse me, which there's a million in prison, then you got to represent that name. You know what I'm saying? You got to represent that name to make that name be real. And I'm going to tell you, it's no, it's no way, not in this video anyway, it's no way, with, with, with good as my memory is, that I'm going to remember all of these names in the video. But I'm going to just say some of them that I do remember. But, man, I've heard some of the craziest names you could ever possibly think of in prison, man. <laughs> and I'm like, man, what? What's your name? What they call you? And this is what they'll tell you, man. But yeah, it, it, it be crazy, man. Um, but I've met some dudes and I never asked them what that mean. You know what I'm saying? Or, or what? It, you know, because like I say in prison, man, it's not. It, you know, people talk a lot, but certain things they never talk about. You know, you don't ask really like personal questions in prison. You know what I'm saying? You don't ask what dude locked up for, what that, you know, you don't ask those type of things in prison. It's just something that is just, it's, it's common knowledge, you know? So I've known dudes and known people with certain names and everything, but I ain't never asked them why they call them that. Have I wondered? <laughs> Absolutely. But I ain't never really asked nobody. Like, I mean, what, I mean, why they call you that? Blah, blah, blah. You know, first of all, you get a lot of people in there, um, this from certain cities or whatever and they'll name their self that after that city especially because we was in virginia especially if they're not from virginia i i done known a a, a ton of phillies <laughs> a ton of new yorks uh definitely a ton of phillies ton of new yorks who else i done known some arizonas i done known a ton of carolinas uh Hmm. I knew a dude named Seattle. Uh, I, a couple of Boston's. One Boston I know for sure, man. That Boston man, if he's still locked up, 
Man, Boston, Boston, <laughs> Boston was a character, man. Boston was a character. I, I, I assume he from Boston because his name was Boston. But Boston was there when, um, actually, Boston was there before before I got out. So I don't know if he got out since I've been out. But Boston was even still there when I got out. Boston was a was was a wild dude, man. Boston looked like. <laughs> Boston looked like like a throwback dude from the uh, 70s and stuff, man. <laughs> and what I mean by that is Boston used to have this big old hair, like a fro. Since I know him, and I've probably known him since the early 90s, late 80s. And he got this big fro, but what Boston do is he'll have it all packed down in a wave cap and all going to the back with waves going to the back, but his hair is long as I don't know what. <laughs> but he'll pack it down and have it all going to the back. And we, and for you old school people, he had what you call like a shag in the back. And that's how he wore his hair, man. Even when I seen Boston, last time I seen Boston probably was 20, probably like 20, 18, 17 he still had the same hairstyle. <laughs> he still had the same hairstyle. So yeah, I knew Boston. Uh, where else? Uh, uh, did, I'm trying to think of the cities I knew. You know, um, well, that's Mon. <clears throat> um, let me see. Yeah. Um, you know, then you got, you know, then you got the cities in Virginia. Dudes will call themselves their town. You know, I know a lot of P-Towns, you know, stood for Portsmouth, uh, um, Big R, uh, uh, Richmond, from Richmond. Um, a lot of them. I, I mean, you know, those far as like, you know, the cities and stuff go, they represent their city. That's they rep, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what they call themselves. Um... Then I had dudes, man, with with these, uh, you know, different crazy names, man. Like, you know, uh, like y'all remember Jew Man. And don't ask me about Jew Man because I don't know where he at. If y'all know where Jew Man at, somebody hit me on IG, give me his information or whatever, and I reach out to him and I try to get him back on here and bring him to y'all because a lot of people ask about Jew Man from uh, APS, man, from out the prison show when I did the reunion with Jew Man. But I lost Jew Man number, and I haven't been in touch with Jew Man in, in a good minute right now. So I don't know what he's doing. I hope he's doing well, but I, I don't know where Jew Man is at. Um, but Jew Man, I knew a Jew Baby. Jew Baby is still locked up. Jew Baby has a very, very interesting story. Real humble, real smart for his intellectual he might be one of the smartest dudes I met. I mean, he is super sharp. Everywhere I've been with him, most of the time he's working in the law library or either the regular library. Real smart dude, man, but real humble dude, real kind dude, but real dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Crazy story. I might have to tell y'all about Jew Baby's story, but in short, he got locked up. Jew Baby probably been locked up now to probably put over 40 something years. Um, Got locked up. You know, um, actually uh, escaped, and you wouldn't believe crazy, crazy thing, man. Escaped, but his partner that he was cool with was also locked up, but he was in the hospital having surgery. And Jew baby actually escaped prison. They did something or something to the dude, man, trying to escape, and an officer or a sheriff or somebody got killed. You know, and Jew Baby got away, and he's actually free. And he's so loyal that he comes back and goes to the hospital and try to break his homeboy out. And that's how he got caught, and he's been in prison ever since. Yeah, that's Jew Baby, you know, and um, that's a crazy story. But, um, yeah, Jew Baby, uh, Jew, Jew Man, uh, uh, who else? Um... I told y'all the names like you got names like that too, man. But it don't mean like I say the name 
can be different. Like I said, you got to represent the name if you're calling yourself a killer or murderer, all of this type of stuff. But then you got these other names is different. And you may hear this name and you may think that this about that person, but it's not the case. They can be just the opposite. I told y'all about Cupcake. He got a name like Cupcake, but if you see him, you wouldn't think nothing like that. Slim, cut up, black dude, crazy voice. Cupcake is the dude talking about these mad tens. Yeah, yeah, got a murder charge in prison, but his name is Cupcake. You know what I'm saying? I knew a dude named Pinky. You know, Pinky won't have nothing to be played with, but his name is Pinky. You understand? I knew a dude named Sweets. His actual name was Sweets. He was a crip and a knockout artist. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just, just crazy stuff like that, man. You know, but then you got the, uh, you know, the, uh, you got a lot of the um, uh, five percenters. They got the attribute names, you know, uh, you know, absolute, uh, um, um, internal, uh, supreme, uh, you know, uh, um, big prime. You know, his and that was short for supreme. Um, my homeboy, Black Darkness, uh, Lord Science. Um, you know, all of these are attributes for other five percenters. And a lot of those dudes was good dudes. A lot of those dudes, you know, uh, I ran across and they got these attributes. And like I say, Black Darkness, you know, Black Darkness and Lord Science are both fighting the case right now. You know what I'm saying? Lord uh, Black Darkness came out probably like a year after me. It didn't even last a year because he got caught up with uh, Lord Science. And um, he walked himself right into an ongoing investigation in a case, so he went right back to prison, and they fighting the case right now. Lord Science' name used to actually be, before he converted to 5%, his street name and prison name was Hoghead. <laughs> used to call him Hoghead, you know, but he actually looked just like, and the females in prison called him LL Cool J because he looked like LL Cool J. Light skin, bald head, big, muscular, look just like LL. But you know, he went from you know being called hog head to being called LL by the, the, the female COs to being lower signs, five percent. You know what I'm saying? So names are crazy in prison, man. Black darkness, I ain't never asked black darkness what that stood for. But black darkness was a soul. Uh, uncut hustler man in prison man and uh, it's, it's in his lifestyle and I guess it carried over back out in prison and um, I mean back out in the free world from prison but man Black Darkness was Black Darkness was getting money in prison. Black Darkness had two and three 18 wheelers on the street going up and down the road getting money for him while he's sitting in prison from his prison hustle. So you know that's that's you know Black Darkness I never asked, asked him though what that mean you know um, I knew a dude named Black Caesar, <laughs> and Black Caesar was a character in itself, man. A lot of times, Black Caesar made me want to crush his face, man. He got one of them real deep, annoying voices, always laughing, always, you know, pushing you right to the edge where you just wonder, man, what are you talking about? And um, me and me, me and him went through a thing. Man, we went through a thing on uh, on um, Power Ten because he was invading my space. He was invading my my you know you know my privacy. Cause this was when I was on there and I told y'all I had the thing going on with the CO. But he wanted them old you know nosy uh, freak nasty dudes. He keep trying to you know uh, you know gun the broad down and. Then the bro writing them charges, trying to get, he trying to pull up on me, telling me to tell it, bro. Man, you don't get out of my face. I'm not, man. What, what do you? First of all, what you mean by me? That's a police. What you want me to go tell? Oh man, I know you and her got something going on. <laughs> he one of them type. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, you don't know nothing, man. Don't be repeating that. Don't be spitting that out loud. Man, come on. <laughs> come on, back. Everybody know what's going on, man. Just tell her to turn the charge up. I'm like, man, if you don't get out of my face, <laughs> you know I ain't scared, man. You know I ain't. I don't care what you is. You know what I'm saying? But... He, we had that type of, you know, push-pull where it was always on the verge why I might 
you know, break his face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he used to jump in the ring during the boxing matches of the smokers. The smokers was more more or less for the amateurs. They wanted to try their hand in the ring, call somebody out, get in the ring and fight. He used to jump in there. He was a real, real dark skinned old big head, goofy looking dude, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? And with the deep old voice. And, but he was cut up his must. So he everybody think they can box until they actually get in the ring. So he used to get in there and just swing wild as I don't know what. And just go crazy. And the dudes as he's fighting is they they don't know as much about boxing as him. So he catch a couple of dudes and, and, and you know, you know, knock a couple of dudes out. So man, he, he really think he's tough. You know what I'm saying? And I used to tell him all the time, I said, man, if you don't if you don't pipe down, bro, you you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you who you really are. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know you is. <laughs> I know you know, so you know, I'm glad we never really got to that, but it came real, real close because he went and said something to the female CEO that I was dealing with in reference to my name. And I pulled up on him real strong one day. We was in the pool, in the uh, pool hall, and I pulled up on him real strong, man. And other dudes had to intervene, but I was, uh, I probably was about 30 seconds away from dropping that double hook on him. You know, but. Luckily, I did, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah, but uh, you know uh, that's old Black Caesar, uh, Kung Fu. I told y'all about Kung Fu, one of my nemesis in the ring. Kung Fu was a, you know, like whatever third, first, second degree black belt, but he could box too. You know what I'm saying? He was a Golden Glove dude. So uh, yeah, me and him had our little difficulties or whatever. He, he was a little throwed off too, if you ask me. All these crazy names, man, and some of these dudes' names don't match their personalities, man. I mean, like, some of them do, and some of them don't. Like, Worm, I used to tell y'all about Worm. Worm, they call Worm, Worm. Worm weigh about 400 and something pounds, you know what I'm saying? But they call him Worm. Um, I know a dude named Bull. You would think Big Bull skinny as a beanpole. Skinny as a beanpole, man, so... It's just, it's, I don't know, man. I knew a dude named Hershey. Hershey used to box. Me and Hershey was kind of like, you know, we ain't, you know, I don't know. He used to think, act like he wanted to try me, but he didn't. But Hershey was real dark skinned, so I'm assuming that they called him Hershey because he was really, really dark skinned. You know, but you you never know, man. You never know with these names because, like I say, dudes give themselves their own names. Crazy names. I knew dudes named 187. You know, that stand for murder. You know, I knew a dude named Two Guns. Two Guns was crazy, like Two Guns. Um, I knew a dude named um, Machine Gun. I knew a dude named Tech Nine. I do it. I knew a dude named Wop. I knew a dude named Glock. I, I mean, it, it just goes on. I probably every name or every gun that you could think of, I knew somebody with that name of a gun. You know, and then some of them I knew with that name of a gun was soft as cotton candy. Some of them was straight killers. Some of them was straight thugs. It, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I knew one of the most well-known dudes in prison. Um, his name was Iron Buster. <laughs> Iron Buster. And I never knew what that stood for. Like, what do, he do? He bust iron or what? But... He he known in the penitentiary and he he's a he's a name. He's up there with them names like Bo Billy and Sam Piss and all that. I, I personally was never really around Iron Buster, but I I heard a lot about Iron Buster. You know, um yeah, you got you got a uh, man, yeah, Buffalo. I knew a dude named Buffalo. Buffalo was little, meek, and 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 to me, the one that I knew, he he was stay struck. He was a hopping bomb. He was a hopping bob for sure, and they called him Buffalo. You know, I knew a dude named Dinosaur. Dinosaur put some work in, but he won't big as a dot, but he'll put some work in. You know, uh, Double L. Shout out to Double L. I talked to him recently, too. Good dude. They called him Double L because he had two life sentences. You know what I'm saying? They called him Double L. You know, and uh, Double L actually got out before me, ended up going back to prison. And now he back out again. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, um, you get out on a double life sentence and go back, man. Your chances is slim of getting back out. But he did. He didn't stay long or nothing. He back out. And now 
to the best of my knowledge, he's doing he doing good. You know what I'm saying? He's doing real good. You know, uh, uh, I told y'all about suicide. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all why they called him suicide, but you know, cause everybody thought that he was you know a little sick or something. But yet at the same time, he was doing what he do with people, and they used to always that suicide. You know what I'm saying? But all of these crazy names, man. All of these crazy names. Y'all remember I told y'all about New York sincere. <laughs> and that's all because he's always, I'm so sincere. I'm so sincere. I'm so sincere, son. I'm telling you, son. You know what I'm saying? And all he did was play basketball and, you know, hustle, get his little money. You know, uh, uh, dollar bill. You know, dollar bill ain't have a dollar bill. <laughs> Dollar Bill ain't have a dollar bill, but they call him Dollar Bill. All Dollar Bill do is run around the penitentiary all day, every day, trying to find a female to gun. But they call him Dollar Bill. Um, man, so many, man, so many. Uh, you know, I would guess y'all all know and, and, and love Safu, but, you know, that name fit because it's a Kung Fu name, you know, or, or attribute towards, you know, the martial arts. So I'm assuming that's why they called him Safu. I personally never asked him why they called him that or whether he gave himself that name. Um, uh, I knew a dude named, actually knew a dude named when I was in the wall, man, and everybody knew this dude too, man. His name was Red Face. <laughs> and he answered to this This is the only thing that I ever known him to answer to His name was Rat Face And his face was shaped like a rat But they called him Rat Face And he was cool with that He was cool with that I knew a dude they used to call Ugly And that he was And he answered to that He was cool with that I knew a dude they used to call Ugg Mug He answered to that You know what I'm saying He answered to that man It's it's just insane in prison, man. Like I say, you go in there, man, you give yourself the name that you want people to call you by. But, you know, more than more than likely, man, you're going to have to represent that name, you know. And then, you know, I guess, you know, you got all the peoples, all the boys, they get themselves all, I, every type of car, I don't know, Lexus, Porsche, uh, uh, Mercedes, BMW, uh, all of those, <laughs> they got all of them names. Then they got the crazy names, you know, uh, Bubblelicious, uh, you know, uh, Rip the Runway, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, Brooke Shields, uh, Satin, uh, 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 Silk, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, Precious, uh, you know, uh, Gloria, Ashley, uh, Amber, I mean, it's, it's, the list just goes on and on when you come to that. You, you got the crazy ones. Like I say, the all-time one, I don't even want to say it, make me laugh with it. It was like pickles. <laughs> you know, so it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, but it just be crazy, man. It be crazy. And then some of them people, they will get mad if you don't call them by the name that they say that's what it is, whether it's the the people's or or regular, they get mad. They want you to call them what they say their name is, you know, big time. You know what I'm saying? You can't call them by no other name. Uh, you know, a, a, a killer. They want you to call them killer, and they they in there for shoplifting, but they but they want you to call them killer. You know, all of this type of stuff, man, is crazy in, in penitentiary, man. One of the most crazy dudes I knew, too. Matter of fact, I might do a video about him. His name was Crowbar. His name was Crowbar. He is, he nutty as I don't know, and he's still locked up. You know what I'm saying? Probably been locked up now pushing 50 years. Um, You know, uh, Spook Dust. You know, Spook Dust is, is Bo Billy. Bo Billy. Spook Dust is Bo Billy, homeboy. Spook Dust been locked up just as long as Bo Billy. If Bo Billy did 48, 49. Spook Dust is like 47, 48. And they both from the same place, P-Town. You know, and Spook Dust is a dangerous cat, man. You know, a real dangerous cat. You know, uh, them, them P-Town dudes, man, they, they breed them down there, boy. They they breed them down there. They ain't, yeah, Bo Billy, Spook, they breed them dudes down there. Um, You know, you got Riverboat. Riverboat was known in the penitentiary as a dangerous dude. Why they call him Riverboat, I have no idea whatsoever. George Lee Flight, I spoke of George Lee Flight before. I told you, they say every time George Lee Flight get mad in penitentiary, somebody die. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you know, all of these names, George McGee. Um, then you got dudes that got their whole real name. They known and paying attention for their whole real name, like Bo Billy, you know, which is not Bo Billy real name, but that's a whole name, like the whole name. You got Bo Billy, you got Stacy Perry, you got George McGee, you got uh Johnny Nelson, you know, you got all of these dudes, Zach Ali, uh, Michael Lyons. Um, people that go by their real, real name, and they got, you know, their whole name, yeah, the people don't call them one name, Michael Stewart, they call their whole name, you know what I'm saying, um, and that's the name that's on their birth certificate, so you got people like that, man, um, it, you know, like I say, man, it's a lot in a name, and there's nothing in a name in the penitentiary, it all depends on how you look at it, and who it's coming from, you know, so, yeah, man, but I, I, I've known some wild ones, man, some really, really wild. And very rarely do anybody go by their real name or sometimes, very rarely you can meet some, uh, what's your name, George? What's your name, Tom? You know, unless it's a white guy or something. Or what's your name, or, or Larry? You know, uh, you, you, you never really meet those, you know, because... For whatever reason, people are going to give you the name that they was either called on the street or the name that they come up with while they in the penitentiary. Now, me, I was called Mankin since I was a kid. So I got my, my, my own name, you know what I'm saying? The pound came from in prison. A lot of dudes with the boxing, they started calling me pound for pound, you know, or either just pound. So that's where the banky pound came from. But I've been banky all my life, you know what I'm saying? So, but... You know, I remember when I first got to prison, I was hanging around with Jew, Jew man, Jew man, them little homeboys, little click for a minute. When I first met them, we in the block and they working out and everything. And I was, I was small, short, small. I was coming in prison. I was, I told you, I was 140 something, 150 at the most by the time I hit prison. 140 something coming off the street. So, a Jew man was already little, and I used to be saying how small he was, and they used to talk about how small I was, because these dudes was old muscle dudes, and Jew man was small as well, way shorter than me, but he was kind of muscular and everything. So by me keep joking about him being small, then they started calling me, and you a midget too. So they started trying to call me midget, but I did that. <laughs> I did that. I'm just getting into penitentiary. Y'all ain't going to be calling me midget. I'm not going by that. That's, you know what I'm saying? But... Certain dudes that take on the attributes that other people give them, you know, or, or what they give themselves. I remember right before I left, I had a rapper. Dude was in there, he was in the hole with me. He was a rapper. I don't know what his name was at first, but I know he started, got on the gate and started hollering, telling everybody he changing his name. Don't nobody call him whatever it was at first no more. Everybody call him. They said, well, what's your name? What do you want to call him? He said, spit it out. <laughs> he said he wanted to be called spit it out. And I'm saying to myself, I guess he's saying that this that's going to be his rap name because he be spitting out the raps or whatever. I'm saying to myself, young blood, you in prison. That ain't no good name to call yourself in prison. Spit it out. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it be insane in there, man. I'm telling y'all, man, we prison ain't nothing but a legal insane asylum, man, because... People are running away with their thoughts. They're running away with their, you know, their dreams, their hopes and everything. And they just trying to manifest that stuff in prison. They, you know, they, they say things. They, they become certain people, man. They make themselves believe that they're certain people. And um, it's just an insane world, man. I'm telling you. But I've heard every kind of name that you could possibly think of, man. I'm telling you. Every type of name you could think of, it, somebody got that name in prison. Somebody got it, be it good, bad, be it as a name, somebody put on them. If I know dudes in there that they locked up for molest, they call them molester. You know what I'm saying? They call them a molester. You know, um, yeah, you know, uh, 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 call, I know do the rape artists, you rape artists. You know, they, they got all of these crazy names in there. And then if, 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 if dudes try to give you a name, then you don't like it. Either you're going to stand up against it and say, don't call me there to do something or if not. Boom, it's going to stick on you. <laughs> it's going to stick on you, you know. So, yeah, man. But names are crazy in prison, man. But it's all depending upon who gave you the name and how much weight it carries to who you really are. How much do it fit your character? You know what I'm saying? Which which will determine, you know, uh, how it's going to be carried in prison with you with these names. But like I say, some of the softest names that you may think of just because you hear it is some of the hardest dudes in prison. 
you know, or some of the hardest dudes uh, that I ran across or that would definitely put that work in, you know, like I say, cupcake, sweets, pinky, uh, I, you know, uh, I knew one dude, I, well, I knew two dudes, I knew one dude named Polite, his name was Polite, but this dude, his name was Polite, was a killer, then I knew another dude named Polite, and he was a boy, you know what I'm saying, so, it, you know, it's crazy, man. It's just names, man. It's just names. But in prison, man, it all could mean something or it could mean nothing. But anyway, hopefully this was informative to you, man. Hopefully it was some, man. I'm quite sure. I'm almost 100% sure when I get off of this video and sit around and think about it, I'm going to think of a, another gazillion names of people that I knew. This is just off the top of my head. Um, but y'all let me know if y'all want any more of this type of video or you want any more of these names or if you want to hear about some of these dudes that I've mentioned because uh, as I speak their name, it's always going to be something that's attributed to them that'll pop up in my head. But um, y'all be safe out there, man. Be smart. Make good decisions, man. I appreciate you all, man. Big love, TBP Nation. We out here, man. We on the road to 100K. Let's go. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. And duck them hooks, man. They out there, man. And don't name your name. Duck them hooks. Bang. The bank is special. Yeah, pure delicious. Pure delicious. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.